Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is actually gonna be an update video on an old video of mine where we did a really cool number count up effect. In fact, there is a channel called Wix Ideas who actually improved on the idea and made a better version of it. So his channel and his code will be linked in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So here I have designed a very simple section here. Um, and we just have three numbers and let's say we want all three of them to count up. One thing I want to show you though is we actually have a plus on this one and this one actually has a dollar sign. So not only will this code be able to count up basic numbers, but it'll also be able to have suffixes and prefixes as well. To get started, what we need to do of course is come over to dev mode and turn this on. To actually create this effect, we need access to the coding panel. And what I want to do is just delete all of these comments in the on ready function, just like that. And what I want to do is I'm just going to copy the code over from the Wix ideas post. And now let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. So here we have a function called count element. And what we're going to need is a bunch of these different variables. So for example, the element, which will be each individual number. So this one's going to be text three, text two, and undefined, um, whatever this is. So what I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and change these to number three. We'll change this one to number two. And this first one, of course, will be number one. Perfect. So in this function, we're going to need an element. So number one, number two, and number three. Then we're going to need to create a start value and an end value. So if we want these to start from zero, we can set the start value to zero for each one of these. And the end value is going to be, let's say 20 for number one, 180 for number two, and then 20,000 for number three. For the prefix, you can see right now it is empty, but, but if we take a look here, this one's not going to have a prefix. This one's not going to have a prefix, but this one's going to have a dollar sign as its prefix. Then we have suffix. So once again, number one's not going to have a suffix. Number two is going to have a plus, and then number three is not going to have a suffix either. So that's basically pointing out all of the different things that we're going to need for each of these numbers. Underneath that is the duration. So right now it says 2000 and that's 2000 in milliseconds. So this basically means two seconds. So that's how long this animation is going to last. Underneath that, we have a variable for increment and it's basically just a little equation to create how fast these numbers count up. Then underneath that, we have current value, which we set to the start value. Underneath that, we have a, another variable called timer, which is gonna set the interval. So it's gonna say current value is going to count up by the increment. Then it's saying the text element is gonna say the prefix plus the current value, then the suffix. And underneath that is a simple if else statement, basically saying if the current value is greater than or equal to the end value, then stop the counting. So after this count element function, what I want to now do is come down a few lines and what we're gonna to want to do is basically grab this section, which this section I have named as start counting. So what we're gonna do is say dollar sign W, we're gonna grab start counting and we're gonna say on viewport enter and we're gonna want something to happen. So what we're gonna do is say async and we're gonna create this little function here. And inside this, is what we're going to call this function to do for each one of these numbers. So let me go ahead and copy some of the text over. What we're gonna do is paste in this code. 
And the first thing that I kind of want you to notice, what it's basically saying is count element, which is calling this function. Now this function you can see has an element, start value, end value, prefix, and suffix. So right here for count element, you can see we have the element, the start num, the end num, the prefix and the suffix. So instead of text one, we want this to be number one. So let's go ahead and change this. The start value, I do want it to start at zero, so we'll leave that, but you can change that if you want to. Let's say for 20,000, 20, we don't want to start at zero because that would be too drastic. Maybe you can start it at 19,000 and it will only go up to 20,000. But what we're gonna do is start this one at zero and we're gonna end it at 20. And we don't have a prefix or a suffix for this one, so we're just gonna leave these exactly the same. Now I'm gonna copy this line and I'm gonna paste it down two more times, except we're gonna change this one to number two. And this one is going to be number three, okay? For this second number, we want it to be 180. We don't want there to be a prefix, but we do want there to be a suffix, so we'll add a little plus icon there. For number three, we don't want it to end at 20. We want it to end at 20,000. And kind of like what I said, let's just not have it start from zero. Let's just start it from 15,000. And we don't want a suffix, but we do want a prefix of a dollar sign. Perfect. And just like that, we are basically done. So if I come up to the top of our little about page, and I scroll down, you're gonna see all of these are counting. Now, if I do it again, you're gonna notice it's not counting from zero, but these other two numbers are counting from zero. You'll also notice that we have the suffix here for 180, and we have the prefix for this 20,000. So I actually really do like this because this way is actually a little bit easier than my old method. So I just wanna give another shout out to Wix Ideas for finding this solution and making it easier and even a little bit more dynamic than my old version. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Also, make sure you go subscribe to the Wix Ideas channel. He's always posting some really cool stuff there as well. But thank you again for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one.